What is up, everybody? This is Elizabeth with Loose and Curios. Um, I had to help my mom bring her car to the shop the other day, and we went through some countryside, Louisiana, and stopped at a resale shop. And, um, Lord, I've had a headache for five days, so I look like Baby Ruth, Baby Ruth, Sloth from the Goonies, with like one eye big and one eye small. It's been a great time. Um, anyway, here goes the video. Okay, guys, welcome to suburbia hell. Um, well, I'm not gonna give out my mom's name, I guess. But, basically, her plot of land for her house, and my dad's house, had to be a subdivision to meet all the corrupt political laws in the city. And so now, this is the property she grew up on, this house we're pulling up here to now, which was my grandparents' house. I lived here for a little while by myself, and um, she wants to build her own house on the property in the back, and the city's making her pay all kinds of fines, they want her to put in a sidewalk, the sidewalk ends where her yard ends, like, it's so stupid. Anyway, I'm here to pick up my mom, I'll see you guys in a second, peace. So I did do kind of like a um, town tour, but it was like 12 minutes long. <laughs> so I just um, cut it down and maybe I'll do like, it's not even a tour, it's like the road I take through the town I grew up in to get to my mom's house. But um, a separate video where you just hear me rambling on about <laughs> stuff in the city. I also forgot to mention that we we're bringing her, my mother's dog, to the vet first because her car was broken. Okay. Okay. So there's who I call Barney. Her name's Bonnie, but she knows it's me because I say Barney. She's a Karen Terrier. And she's like, Mom, what are you freaking doing? It's time to go. Okay. Clean my windshield. Oh yeah. That's how I clean my windshield. That right there. And here they come. She doesn't know she's on camera. I'm cutting you off now. Bye. So this is Barney. Well, Bonnie's her name. I call her Barney. She just had her shots. So her mom's paying and she had to run out the door really fast because she doesn't want to be in there anymore and she got her heartworm shot so she didn't get heartworms for six months and she weighs 25 pounds now bonnie get that beer but yes this is what a karen terrier looks like all right say hi barney hi so now we're in the country. I'm escorting my mother to drop off her car. We're going to rain. I don't know why we're pulling over here at the smokehouse shells. Okay, guys. So we stopped for gas at a gas station that is not yet open because this is my mom, right? And we go to leave, and there's like a red light, like, I don't know hundred feet away and her gas you know gas can covers open so I get out of her car to go or get out of my car at the red light to go close it and she doesn't even have her fuel cap on the uh, on the dang gas tank so we go back to the gas station she's like I don't see it I don't see it I don't see it so I start to walk on the highway and then she's like, oh, we found it. So yeah, that just happened. Now we gotta go get gas. Oh, man. I feel like I'm just like a, a favor mule for people sometimes. Here we go. Anyway, here's some more rural Louisiana. To the right behind these trees are railroad tracks that I assume run to Texas. So you can hop on a train and 
head out west or east, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, I'll pick up with you guys, I guess, when we get to the car place or when we get to rain. You know, rain, the city we're heading to, has one of the, it's in like the book of weird places and it has the wrong way cemetery where they put all the graves facing the wrong direction so maybe we'll pass by there and you'll get to see one of the weird place tourist attractions and welcome to the town of Dusan by the way so I will see you guys in a bit and look there's a welcome to Dusan sign Dusan the country town of crystal meth God, I just said that, and y'all, there's, what's that show, what's that show, why can't I think of the name, there's the camper, I've seen the whole series, I've seen every episode, guarantee you, they're using that camper to live in and smoke meth, okay, sorry. Well, we are in rain, welcome to rain, everybody, it's quicker the back way, screw the interstate, okay. Rain Cork Women, home of Joel Sonia. I don't know who that is, but apparently he's famous in Rain. He's probably some Chanky Chank musician. Chanky Chank here is Cajun music and sometimes Zodico. Because it'd be like Chanky Chank, Chanky Chank, Chanky Chank. So there's a huge, um, like rice silos the old water tower and the old mills that they're still using I'm pretty sure so it's a pretty cool town they have a thrift store up here on the left are they used to at least I don't know if it made it through the COVID fiasco about to see though I'd imagine if they bought the building they made it through but if they were leasing the building they didn't let's see yeah the community center it's still open so I want to check that out on the way out of here wow they decorated nice for Halloween it's the depot square I don't know what that means pretty sure we we're supposed to take it right there but you know, there's a little frogman. They have little frogmen all over the town. And in Lafayette, the city I grew up in, we have little pelicans all over the town. I'm just following mom because, you know, she pretends like she knows where she's going. I think we're getting into the, like, outskirts of rain where nothing exists. But that's okay. We'll just keep going. she brings her car. I thought she was talking about the old dealership. Good job, Mom. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna stop. So for some reason, my Shop With Me video, all other videos transferred over to my computer. But my Shop With Me video does not want to load onto the computer. And I don't know what the heck it's a deal is. And it's not like the longest capture I had. And I even erased all the other videos. I'm like, well, maybe it's too much for my phone. So the Thrift With Me video will not be in this video. So I'm just going to have to jump to the hall. But I felt like I had to prove to you guys. Like, I did go in there and do a Thrift With Me video. And everything was antique store price. Except for the stuff I picked up. For a community um, fundraising type of place. Which is just crazy. Okay. See you in a sec. Okay, so Bruno's in bed with this blue flamingo, and this is the stuff I got at the thrifty place that wouldn't, whose video wouldn't upload, and it's a baby bin west clock, and I'm sure you can hear it taken away, and it's got the glow-in-the-dark arms, and it's a um, wind-up clock, 
And so I was very excited. I like going to alarm clocks. I don't like the electrical ones as much. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to sell or keep this because, I mean, as you may or may not know, my phone's alarm does not always go off. So I was happy with that find. And then I also picked up this, which is like a, um atomizer. And I guess that's soap she had in there, which these aren't really supposed to be used for soap. And it was only a dollar. And I may or may not keep this as well. Um, I do have a super old atomizer. And it's completely brass. I don't know where I have it right now. Um, I picked up this poodle. And I just caught it before I dropped it. And it's, um, it's got like curly fur. And a little place you can stick a photo in its tail. And I thought it was just cute. It's got spaghetti um, stuff around its feet and on its head. But it's not ceramic. It's like a, a composite. And then I got these two puppies in a basket. Salt and pepper shakers. And they look like they could be Italian or Christmas. They're pretty cute. Um, I don't know if they were ever used. I mean, they are sealed, but somebody could have sealed them recently. Some extra threads hanging from it. But they are just adorable. I love dogs, and I love salt and pepper shakers. And my collection is getting out of control. Um... Then I picked up this piece, and it's a Shenango China Inkaware, and I actually have the saucer to match it. So I was pretty excited when I picked this up. Um, it's a very pretty pattern. It's a restaurant wear piece. And then that was all I had gotten at that place. And then me and my mom, on the way back to her house, Made another stop, because I can't sit in the car long. So we'd kind of make stops along the way. And I picked up these Teddy Bear Indoor Glass Light Sets. And they're pretty old looking. Um, they were from Walmart, but I don't know which year. Um, and I got two boxes. And I'm hoping that they work. I'm going to plug them in and test them out. So, I thought those were pretty amazing. I'd never seen the teddy bear ones. Nor glass ones. Glass teddy bears. See, it's like Department 18 Walmart. $7.94. And then they've got the super old Walmart tag on it. So, I don't know. Then, I picked up these salt and pepper shakers. And they are just freaking darling. There's a yellow and a gray rocking horse. And the gray horse is a pepper. The yellow is a salt. And they rock back and forth. Kind of. Not too much. And they to I don't know. That's like one of the coolest pairs of Christmas salt and pepper shakers I think I've seen in a minute. And then I got this Santa Claus salt and pepper shaker and he's in his box so I'm gonna go ahead and take him out he's ceramic from the seasons collection and this was distributed by Dolgan Corp Incorporated in Scottsville Kentucky and the box is kind of smashed but the salt and pepper shakers have never been used they're still in their original little baggies so, the cutest part about this is it's got a puppy and a kitty, and you don't really know it's a salt and pepper shaker because they sit, Santa sits on top of his bottom half, okay, and he's holding his little lantern, and he's very pretty, he's got nice shiny colors, and there's a puppy in his bag, and then the kitty at his side, and... When you take them off, that's where you put the salt, well, 
I think the pepper good peppers yeah the pepper in here in the bottom and he shakes out Santa's head and then you put the salt in this one and then you just stick them back and he's like a little decor thing and I don't know I just thought it was super darling he's got little flowers all over his green suit his shiny green suit and his lantern looks all shiny even though it doesn't you know light up and yeah let me try to take this out and make doubly sure it hasn't been used I don't see anything in there but the bottom appears to maybe that's just from the paint like it seems like it has some wear to it, but I don't think it's ever been used. It's probably just that old, like his beard has a little grayness happening to it. Like that face. Uh, I'm Santa Claus. So there's him. Um, no, I don't think I got these ornaments at this haul, so I'm going to save this for next haul. And then I picked up this little golden book and it's bow wow meow a first book of sounds and it's got a barcode on the back somebody said if you look in the back whatever there'll be a number and i'll tell you what edition it is but i don't see a number and Bow Wow Meow, A First Book of Sounds by Melanie Bella. Pictures by Trina Sharp. <laughs> Sharp. And then, how does the kitty go? Meow. Oh, this looks so 70s. 1963 is the copyright. It doesn't say what printing it was. And then, how does the doggy go? Bow Wow. How does the cow go? Moo. And then the car makes a noise and the chicken and the rooster. And then, how does the siren go? Oh, oh, how does the train go? Choo, choo, choo. And it's just got really cool pictures in it. And I don't know. I hope I'm not holding it too far out of frame. There's an owl and a goat. And... Yeah, it's in really good condition. Like, nobody really wrote. Let me make sure. Yeah. Nobody's written in it. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's just darling. So, yeah, I got to pick up that, too. And I think that was it for that haul. Oh, I got some purses. Let me go grab them. Bruno, entertain the people with your blue flamingo. Okay, so I got myself a dress, but... Okay, Jesus, take the wheel. Oh my god. That, I'm not gonna show because, you know, I got it for myself. But I like festival bags, and this is like a hand-stitched silk-like. It could be acrylic, but it feels silk festival crossbody bag and so I really like that style of bags I have quite a few like this and then I picked this up because it kind of reminded me of my channel and it's like an old lady purse and it's satiny right on the inside and says Effie's heart so I guess that's the company that makes it and it's an it's in good condition, but, um, I don't think it's, like, vintage, but it's pretty cool. And it has AL stitched next to the phone, whatever that means. But, yeah, that was my haul that didn't upload in the video or whatever. Didn't transfer over to my computer. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace. Say hi, Bruno.